Hello, peoples. Oh, la 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 la, Aquarius. Today is for you, Aquarius. Hello, if you're new to my channel, please like, subscribe, and share. I don't want to really show my face. It looks a little scary right now, okay? No, I'm just joking. I just don't look the best. I've been cleaning house all day, okay? But hang on and let me... Uh, Spirit, what is, what is this? Who is this person? I'm doing something different. Y'all tell me if you like it. Uh oh, it says. Maybe you're a person that has support from your family members and you're blessed to have a stable family. So you're somebody that has, that you're blessed to have a stable family and that's wonderful, you know it. And I love you, Aquarius. And if you're new, please hit subscribe. Uh, who, who's coming up against Aquarius in our family? It's some, it's some, there's some young girl around you It's trying to make you single. Or it might be some young girl, they keep trying to do shit to mess up your relationship. So there's somebody, there's some young girl around trying to mess up your stable <coughs> family. That's what it is. And we'll see why she's trying to do this and see who she is. Okay, you guys? Why does people want to mess with people's family? I don't get it, do you all? I, I, I don't like mess, uh, doing things like that. It's wrong. Oh, and it could be a cancer. Oh, excuse me. It could be some young girl or some woman out here doing this to you all, Aquarius, and it's a cancer. And but this and, and that also is talking about uh, a mother, okay? So it could be like a mother, somebody that you might look to as a mother. Like it doesn't have to be your mom, but it's a it's a mother. So so the way I'm reading this, it's a mother and a young girl that's trying to come against you and your family. But you got to use your intuition about this. Uh, person Aquarius and, and this is about attitudes from the past okay so uh, they don't like maybe how you and your family did things in the past but you know you use your intuition to protect you and your family okay and this could be you have history with this person what else about this uh, girl Oh, it could be a Libra 7th house, too. Uh, this is talking about doing things diplomatically in your relationships and getting a fair deal. You're balanced, you know, and and you all cooperate in your partnership, see? And uh, so you're balanced in your relationship, and for some reason, this girl just doesn't like it. I don't know why. I don't know why it's such a big concern to her, you know. Oh, look, yeah. Main female, karmic. It's the karmic female, see. A karmic doesn't have to be somebody that you or your person slept with. A karmic could just be a friend, uh, you know, a, a whole family. It could be your aunt or uncle or your sister. You know what I'm saying? It's a, a karmic. Uh, <laughs> It can be your friend of me's, you know what I mean? But this is somebody that you, I have a feeling that you know this, this girl, whoever it is. And she's a karmic in, in, in your life. And I mean, you got a good support system and, and you're stable, but maybe this girl slept with your partner or something. You don't know it. Oh, what well, I'll come out. Do we come out? Oh, it's about... They're hiding their feelings about uh, this. This karmic female is hiding their feelings, and and uh, she's wanting to have a reaction at the moment. Okay, and you're gonna have to uh, defend yourself against this person and accept accept that she's trying to do this and not let it bother you 444 don't let it bother you okay that was that cancer energy coming out right now but they're hiding their feelings they're 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 hiding they're also hiding that they did anything they're hiding that they 
try to stir up shit in your family and relationship. But don't worry, because spirit tells on them, it's somebody you fucking work with. Look, occupation, it's somebody you worked with, and you're going to receive a message. You're getting ready to receive a message, okay? What What is the message pertaining to about this job and this karmic female. What do you talk what's the message pertaining spirit? Oh, it's about uh maybe that you're gonna uh this is about a message about action, maybe. You're getting Mars energy sent to you at the moment. And Mars energy is for Aries and this is you're gonna uh it's sending energizing energy to you at the moment so you can confront for your force yourself to confront this person is what it's saying force yourself to confront this damn karmic female what about the damn karmic female jupiter this karmic female is learning from you so this karmic female is learning from me and trying to fuck with my family and your all's family same way so hit like and subscribe if you all know people like this that just loves to tire everything you got down because it's always been like that for me and, and they don't understand that you know i'm good with it i'm a chosen one i can i know how to grow and expand from those relationships you know what i'm saying like that it's not going to get me down i learned lessons that's that's a blessing learning lessons is a blessing ain't it they don't understand and we're positive and you're getting ready to you're you're getting blessings from from the divine you're going to receive good fortune and it might be uh you're going to receive good fortune from this karmic female from your job that you used to work with okay and you got the self-confidence to create anything you want out here honey aquarius aquarius women or men you got any you got enough confidence to do that in yourself to take a chance on yourself and put it into yourself okay this is leo energy and and you're a leader and this is about your creativeness and doing things the way you want to okay and, and this this karmic female is mad because you're not paying any attention to her anymore at your work that's all it is and it's a cancer it's a cancer it's pissed off at you because your occupation they know that you're going to be a leader and be a person of high honor i thank you spirit and i thank you new subscriber and i love you and welcome i appreciate you i see that you uh subscribe to me today and today is monday the what is today the 15th yep um uh, yesterday was um someone's birthday real close to me and happy birthday yesterday 814 i love you you know who you are 814 i love you but yeah, you're getting ready to receive high honors in your job, and it's gonna piss this little karmic off. It's gonna piss little karmic off. It's little karmic girl, cause she can't be you. Cause she can't be you. She don't know how to do good like you do. Okay, Aquarius, that's all it is. She just jealous. She just jealous, cause you know how to get shit done. She don't. Oh, and what that say? What boundaries need to be created or strengthened within my relationships? This is what I did. I placed boundaries with these people that I used to work with. And that's why they're mad. Because, yes, I did. And, and listen what it talks about. To create more healthy boundaries, we must first get in tune with our own needs, desires, and feelings. And believe that we are worthy of them. In your relationships, it's essential to know where they end and where you begin. It says, when we separate our energy from others, we gain clarity about what we really want. Then we stop doing things that no longer align with ourselves. If you are an empath, you can still be compassionate toward others without taking on their stuff. It is safe to trust that you are not here to fix anyone. See, I took leadership to stand up for myself because I know I'm an empath. I always have been and and. and and I did know some women that was narcissist, and they was putting all their energy on me, and I kept telling you, better stop, 928-929. You need to look up them angel numbers when I tell y'all. That's, that's what led me to do this practice. I mean, everybody isn't meant to do a practice like this, but you will, you will know if you keep following them numbers. It'll take you a couple years or two or three like it did me, but you'll find your path and what you're meant to do. But what I was trying to say is, you can't fix all these people. And that's what I did. And, you know, and here's a mantra that you need to say. 
I have everything I need within me now, and so do they. I am worthy of my needs, and I set boundaries based on what's best for me. See, that's what I did. And that's why I did that. You see what I'm saying, you guys? I mean, you, you have to, you know what? Now I'm gonna do, uh, let's do some Egyptian puzzle time and see what comes out. Spirit, and do come out, Dio, what you see. You can do it, you can do it. That uh, Rob Schneider said, you can do it. I got a card that says that. Jay, what do you wanna tell us about this main female? Or sometimes it won't tell us a, a name, it'll tell us a sentence, so pay attention. JB, I don't know if you know anybody's initials with J and B, but that's what's out right now, JBS. You. Sub or bus. Maybe this is a karmic feminine that you used to work with. Maybe you drove a bus. And maybe it's karmic feminine drove a bus. B-U-S. B-U-S. Maybe you're a Cancer or a Libra that drove a bus and you're watching this Aquarius reading. And if you are, hit subscribe. But maybe you work for the school or something for whoever this reading's for. Well, spirit. Oh, thank you. JF. What, what are you trying to say, spirit? B. Another B. H. B. Saying, but it might be saying Jeff. I need another elf. Is that Jeff Spirit? Hang on, one fell. A Q. Q don't spell nothing hardly ever. Uh, I mean, I can spell like two or three things, but not really a lot. Let me get out some letters and see what it's trying to say. What are you trying to say, Spirit? Yeah, Jeff. So maybe you know a bus driver named a Jeff. Or maybe this is your name and a karmic feminine was messing with your with your job, J-E-F-F, -F, and you went off and did something on your own. Jeff. Okay. Because yes, men do watch my channel too, so I don't know. Y'all just gotta go with it, you guys. Hang on. Or maybe that's your partner. What are you trying to say, Spirit? It give me three ends. What are you trying to spell? It's going to write a big old sentence, you all. I can none tell. Okay, here. Let me, I'm going to go through here and pick out the vowels, you all, so I can spell whatever I spell with this, and then I'm... That's the only way I can do it, you guys, okay? Sometimes spirit will just spit it all out when it does. That's what I do. But sometimes I gotta really work for it. So don't get mad at me, you guys. Let's see what it's saying. Sometimes I gotta do like this to see what it says. This is, this might be a scary message. Train, T-R-A-I-N. Bus and train. Wouldn't that be funny if it said bus, plane, or train? That's a sign of travel. It telling you to leave, you know it? Maybe it's just saying you left from this person. Bus, train, or plane. You got the hell out of it said. But I don't have a P, I don't think. Oh. Let's see what it's trying to say. What happened, Spirit? Maybe a bus, maybe Jeff was a bus driver and maybe something happened with a train, I believe it's saying. 
That's weird, ain't it, you guys? Yeah, cause look. Oh, that's sad. Look what it said. Boy, B O Y. It's sad. So it's Jeff guy. Or maybe this is the boy. They was on a bus and it, they got hit by a train. That's sad. That's sad spirit. Spirit. Sometimes these things about make you cry, you know what? Trying to see what it spells you all. I got able the B I'm using for bus. And I got A-L-E. I'm going to spell Abel. A-B-L-E. Okay? A-L-E. Or it could be saying somebody was drinking beer. L. A-L-E. See that? Maybe it's bus driver was drinking. A-L-E. That's what it is. I'm going to leave it like that. I'm not going to use Abel. I'm going to say it like that. Somebody. That's sad. You know it. trying to spell spirit let me see if it'll spell it what are it what's the letter what is the first letter spirit what is the first letter what are you what are you trying to spell do i have it what did you open this uh, in no it said no look see how spirit loves me over here it said no you know no no L. No L. Wait. What are you trying to spell, Spirit? What else? With my letters in my hand. Thank you, Spirit, for spelling for us the way you do. I love you. Don't y'all love Spirit in class? Door, D U L L. Door, D U L L. It says, and I don't spell nothing. What it? What are you trying to say, Spirit? Hang on, y'all. I want to get some more. Letter, so up before I read it to you all. Uh -oh. Have a R spirit. Can I have a R spirit? Oh, up our. I got an R up here with train. It was cry. I'm using the R with trains, okay? That's sad. I told you it'd be something sad. Spirit, will you spell something uh, else that you're wanting to know? QV don't spell nothing, spirit. What are we trying to spell? Ajax. I believe that's what all it's trying to say. It's saying. <coughs> it's saying. 
this this is no boy this is no boy and dull no dull no dull boy Jeff was drinking ale driving the bus when he hit the train and now he's crying. Ain't that sad? That's what it says. It says no. It says, uh, it says no, boy. Quit thinking life is dull. Jeff was drinking ale and driving a bus that hit a train and now he's crying. I'd say he is crying because he's probably killed a bunch, a bunch of kids. He had killed at least one kid, I can tell he did, because that's why it come out. Did he kill that person? Yeah, he killed that person. That's sad, ain't it, you all? So, I don't know how this ties in with that karmic feminine that you worked with, but maybe you worked in the school system and maybe, uh, this current feminine was tied to this bu man bus driver. I don't know. But I don't know. But sometimes spirit just makes things different in that Egyptian puzzle time. But y'all just go with it. And remember the first part of that message is what I was trying to tell you. They, somebody wants you to be, that doesn't want you to have a marriage or this relationship. And she worked with you in your occupation. And, and she she's mad because you're not paying her any mind anymore or giving feelings to her and, and you've t cut it totally off you're balanced and she she wants to start a ruckus and you're going to have to defend yourself and let your feelings be known tell this little damn girl what you think and you're going to do this shit with force okay because you're going to get giant blessings uh because you're a leader you know, and I'm an Aquarius and my North Node's Leo. And if you're an Aquarius and you're North Node's Leo, hit subscribe. I love you because that's what I am. That's the same. And we're persons that seen of high honor. 2222. Ooh, wow. We're going to get, we got, a, we got a spiritual partnership from God. And that's why a lot of these people get mad at us. But we can't help it. You know, it, we were just brought here to teach others, you know. And let me get to you one of these little messages and see what it says throne look throne your potential is endless you're getting ready to set your little butt on a throne okay <laughs> all right well i thank you all of course here wait and i'll give you one of these let me give y'all a little message love message love message for aquarius love message i gotta hurry up you guys and put out a few readings because i got a lot of work to do oh the snake imagine that oh there's a little girl snake Competition, enemy, clever. There's a clever enemy around at the moment. You gotta look over your shoulder. The other woman. Oh, it's the other woman. Ha ha ha. Ha, it's the other woman. Maybe that's why Jeff, whoever this bus driver is, was getting fucking drunk and killing kids because he had a hole on the side. I don't know, you all. But maybe that's how it tied into the store. Maybe this man's married and he had a hole on the side, you know it? But it's all right. Uh, Spirit will tell us, what about Snake? Oh, the snake. The snake is getting engaged. Well, good. Well, good, snake. Other woman, if you're in, if you're engaged, well, good for you. Ain't that good? We don't really care, do we? No, not really. Oh, and, you know, you, this is about you're in a new phase and you're wanting to rekindle and you're transforming and growing. Maybe... So this snake, this enemy of yours that's clever and malicious around is trying to trying to stick her nose in your partnership because it says partnership again and she thinks that she uh, is going to be complete in a union with your person. But no, this is a new phase and you're going to throw her right down on her little ice. That's what it means. Hammer. Hammer. She's trying to sabotage what you're rebuilding. Well, don't worry, because Spirit's going to kill them. Don't worry. Spirit will get you. Somebody's wanting to interrogate you. They do this shit repetitively, and they're very persistent on, and working on it. They're working on breaking this to your life. But they're going to bring some shocking news. Remember a message. 
Uh, this is about an upheaval, okay? But it could just be that you went through a transformation and you got wised up to all this shit and you left it totally behind and now they can't get to you. Ain't that funny? That could also be what it meant. Well, I hope this helps somebody out there today because um, if you're a man watching, you're marrying a snake, it's saying. If any of this rung true to you, you're marrying a snake and I don't know if you were to do that. <laughs> 25, 25, 77 very much spiritual knowledge over here you know and luck and money that's what that means but i love you guys and peace and thank you Aquarius. and if you watch it all the way through please hit subscribe because i need to help and peace i'll see you back later